Hey gang, Scott here. Uh, this video is about filter bags. I've got two bags here on my desk. One is from Haida. It's called the Haida Filter Bag. Straightforward name, truth in advertising. And I have the Mindshift Filter Hive, a bag that I have used for a bunch of years. And so I thought I'd talk about, you know, why I have two of them now. Why have I introduced the Haida Filter Bag into my uh, kit? and uh, what the, the key differences are between the two of them. For those that are the cut to the chase type folks in the crowd, it's gonna come down to what filters do you need to carry? The, the real key difference is the filter hive from Mindshift, at least the configuration I have, it carries half, like five slots for 100 millimeter, 150 millimeter glass, and then there are six smaller slots for your round filters, your 72, 77, 82 screw-in type filters. The Haida filter bag has nine slots that are all for large filters, 100 millimeter, 150 millimeter, drop-in filters if you're using the Haida M10 systems, for example, as well as filter holders, like the actual bracket work, you know, that I have that in my Haida filter bag as well. So that is the key difference. But uh, the rest of the video, I'll just talk a bit about, you know, the, the, the build mechanics of it, you know, the quality of, of both bags, uh, size, and so forth. So, uh, but, you know, for, for those of you that, like, well, which one should I get? Think about what you got to carry and decide from there, you'll be happy with either, or in my case, both bags. All right, so what are some of the things that are the same about both bags? Uh, build quality on both is excellent. They've got ripstop type of uh, material, so uh, you're not gonna have any problem with stitching. Zippers are quality. Both have a, a belt pack, so you can Velcro it to a belt, or you have a, a latch with a snap-in uh, you know, enclosure, so you can wrap it around a tripod. That's how I like to use it. Both of them have an inner sleeve and an outer sleeve so the inner pouch has you know a, a flap that goes over velcro to close it and then you can zipper it inside so when you're working with it very good protection from the elements both of them have front pouches so that you can carry additional stuff extra batteries memory cards remote triggers lens wipes those sorts of things uh, even size wise they're very similar you're looking at my desk and it kind of looks like the filter hives a little smaller than the uh, the Haida. I think for the outer footprint, that's fair. But I can actually take the inner sleeves and exchange them between both bags. I've taken the inner sleeve, which has you know a bunch of my, my larger Haida filters in it, and I can put it inside the uh, mind shift. So size-wise, there's not too much of a difference there. The one I will point out where there is a difference in like the size and the form factor is the Haida's front zipper pouch where you'd, you'd uh, put more things. Let me bring this up a little closer here. Now this is, this is pretty large and it sticks out a bit. I thought that might be a problem when I was working with it in the field. It turned out not to be, you know, compared to what I was used to, which is a very slim, you know, hidden pouch there from the, uh, from the, the, the Mindshift filter hive. I will give the filter hive a nod for having like this cover here to protect from rain and the elements where this zipper pouch doesn't have that. But to me, that's not a make or break deal for the filter bag because like I said at the top of the video, what it really comes down to is what each bag holds and how does that match what you need to carry. And that brings us to really what's different about the bags. You know, why would you choose one over the other? It comes down to what do you want to carry? Because the filter hive is like a 50-50 bag. Half of the slots are for your large glass, you know, your 150 millimeter, 100 millimeter square rectangular glass that you're using with a filter holder system. And half of the slots are for the screw-in filters, your 67, 72, 77 millimeter. And I've got a separate video that details, you know, the, the innards of this bag. And then in the Haida filter bag case, you have nine slots that are all for large glass. 100 millimeter, 150 millimeter glass, your drop-ins if you're using a Haida filter system. My Haida filter holders as themselves, they're in the bag as well. Uh, and I have fit holders into my filter hive. A little bit of a tighter fit, but it's workable. Uh, but it, it comes down to what do you want to carry? And uh, so I end up with both bags. 
And the reason for that is for my still work, I use the Hida M10 system and a lot of large glass. I have my filters have grown over time and now I can carry all of them in my filter bag from Hida that's draped over my, uh, my tripod. I've got everything at my fingertips. For my video work, I use screw in filters. Now, some of them are magnetic, some are variable NDs. And so I continue to use my filter hive from MindShift because it has those slots made for those types of filters. Nice snug fit, just keeps them secure. So, uh, you know, if you're looking around for a filter bag and you're trying to decide between these two, you know, um, build quality is is excellent on both as i said i give a slight nod to mind shift for that little flap in the front that gives a little more weather protection uh, for that front zipper pouch but both the inner sleeves and both systems have a, a nice folding over system so you can put the sleeve in one way and have you know the flap on the inner sleeve and the the cover on the out the outer side is zippered you know, alternating, so it's very well protected, and uh, the uh, the the price is probably the other thing too. Uh, the the filter bag from Hida, the last I checked, is running around U.S. fifty dollars, and the filter hive was more like U.S. sixty dollars. So a little bit of a price differential, uh, but it really comes down to what are you going to carry? What filters do you need to have at the ready? for your photography, and then either bag I think you'll be very happy with. I'm happy with both of them, and uh, I, I hope this video helps you out in making whatever decision you need to make for your, your filter bag. you got other questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.